Right, another short video. I just stopped in a, like a little small hide and uh, so I'm probably speeding up a bit to get closer to civilization. This is a bit of a, a quieter stretch here. Oh yeah, this bird just uh, went off there. I, think the I am, I am there. going a bit quicker than perhaps I normally would. The thing is, there's a road up here. one there yeah sometimes I have to edit my videos otherwise I'm talking about uh, there's a swan on her nest there look Cool, look at that, look at that, look at that web there. Look, the caterpillars, the, that's a spider's web there, and the caterpillars are stuck. They're, they are food for the spider later. That's absolutely amazing, isn't it? I'll turn off, take a picture of that. Right over there we've got a little chapel at Stirt. As far as I know, well I came on my bike last time, a few years back. Don't know if I can see some graves. Maybe it's more accessible now. If I come back along the road a bit. I don't think, I don't know if it's open or anything. It never used to be. And in fact, I looked like it was, um, used to look like it was in somebody's garden. But it did look like there's some graves there. We'll have to see. I might come straight back down through the village, eh? So it's over this, it's a pretty little field. Um, I thought if it would be open, they might have a little sign saying church open or something like that, you know, or, or, or even name it. It's a bit of a history to it, I believe. Definitely a bit of a history to it. We've only got about one and a half miles to walk. Don't forget, I've got, I've got to walk it all back. I'm just going to check the time now. My rule last week, and I don't know if I've left later. I might have even started later. I'm not sure. Um, what's the time now? Right, it's about half past one. My rule last week is that you have to turn back by five o'clock. Now, 
It didn't actually take me long, I think. It was only an hour and a half's walk to the breach last time. Um, when I just left Cummage to come on this track a long way back, it was 5 to 12. So to get to this point on the edge of the village, not far from the lovely little old chapel there, To get to this stage, curving round now towards Stirk. Um, now, I think there'll be a choice whether you want to go out to the other side of the breach or not. I haven't made my mind up yet. I'm th more interested in getting to the, the main Stirk hide. That's my main goal today. And it, I must admit, this is a beautiful walk. And of course, a beautiful cycle as well, because it's all so flat. If you wanted to bring your, your bike out there, or you had a scooter, you know, a mobility scooter, or you had a tricycle. Ideal. Don't know if it's used still, even that church. I'm going to take some more pictures in a minute. Just that I thought I'd wait until we got up to these cows. I'm waiting to see what I call is the French house as well. Cool, look at you, isn't you be a beauty? Look at you. Hello. What big horns you have, my dear. Wow, well, I don't want to get in there. <laughs> I expect that is a way in. And he's a biggie. I'm glad they fence the cows off from us because it must be scary for them as well. Hello, big furry cow. And you are a cow as well, you're not a bull. I wonder if there's a bull in there that looks like you, but bigger. Hello. Hello, Moo Moo. Beautiful darling. Oh, there's another one wants to say hello. Hello! Oh, look at you, one of your horns is broken. Oh, hello. You a cow cow as well, you hurt your horny. Let me just focus in on you. That one's got a broken horn. They all look to be cows at the moment. All of them. Knowing the bull, he'd be sat down somewhere. They got big horns though. They got big horns. Brent Knoll in the distance up there. And this lovely herd of cows with huge horns. They look quite placid, but um, they're fenced off for a reason, so we shouldn't disturb them. We shouldn't disturb them. I'm going to turn off again in a minute, but we're coming up a hill where there'll be some views and some choices, I should imagine. There might be somebody else I can see in the distance now. The good thing about this camera, I can zoom right in on someone. Let's find out who they are. They're someone with a red, someone with a blue car, so you can actually drive that way. I'll tell you what looks like the bull though in here. There's a little calf. That's a little calf. I look look at the size of that. That I bet you a thousand pounds that 
is the bull. It is massive. God, I'm surrounded by beauty. That is massive. The width of the chest. Absolutely gigantic. You can't quite see because the grass is in the way. I mean, it could be still be a cow. I mean, they're all pretty big. But that, to me, the size of that creature there... I'd say is the bull. You can't really tell exactly. He's too busy munching, he's not moving much. But he is big. I think that's the bull. This is what happens when you're in the countryside, everyone. Oh, I can see another warden. Yes, he's got a fluorescent top on. Well, it might even be a policeman as well. Maybe they've lost someone in a swamp. It's reassuring that there are a lot of wardens about, though. They do come around on the bike as well. It's reassuring for women like me who have to go out alone. Yeah, there's a bloke all in black as well. Then maybe they found a body. I did see like a police car a minute ago. Oh yeah, they got like their swimming gear on, you know, when they go in water. Oh look at these little calves. He's looking at me saying, Oh look, there's a human there. Yeah. Look at you. You're pretty. Yeah, there's some activity going on. Something's happening anyway. Right, we've got a little resting spot here. There'll be a decision for me to make in a minute. Um, here we have the marshlands. I've walked, of course, a long way now. Where is it? Yes, right over there. Right, right, right in the mist. Right, 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 right there. And just coming in is Cummidge. There's Cummidge. And I've walked all the way around. All the way from there. All the way round and round. Round and round and round, and it's fantastic, everybody. Fantastic. I think that's the breach there. I might just pop over it to it if it's too far. It might just be along there, you see, and across the stretch, and then over there, quite some distance away from that one, is this where the water comes in. Right, over and out for a minute.